keep the mosquitoes away because in Malawi, mosquitoes carry a very bad disease called malaria. We don't want to catch malaria. So we have, in northwest Wisconsin, provided nets to keep the people safe from the mosquitoes. And we've also provided money for them to dig wells. Anybody use any water this morning? Maybe to brush your teeth or to take a shower? So how far did your mom have to walk to bring you that water? A couple of steps. That's not very far at all. How big a container was she carrying? Was it five gallons? Was it 10 gallons? Like a glass, right? We take water for granted in this country, right? Water's just a little thing. Not so in Malawi. In Malawi, you can't just go to the faucet and turn it on and expect water. In fact, the women, it's, it's the job that falls to the women. That's kind of strange, isn't it? If you're gonna carry these big buckets of water, you'd think some big strong men would do that, but not in Malawi, it's the women's job. And they have to walk long distances, sometimes miles, just to bring their family water. And so the Northwest Wisconsin Synod has collected money and sent it to Malawi so that they can can uh, dig some wells. And because this congregation has participated so much, they want us to have a, a copy of this book. And so Minister Kim and I are going to be reading to you this book over the next month. So I get the opportunity to start. So let's hear a little bit about Malawi this morning and about how that offerings and that little bit of light from Northwest Wisconsin has reached halfway around the world. Would you like to travel to Malawi, Africa? It takes a little over 20 hours to fly in a plane from Minnesota to Malawi, Africa. How long would it take from where you live? 20 hours, right? Because you'd go to Minneapolis to get on the plane, wouldn't you? So maybe a little longer than 20 hours because you have to drive there. These are the women of prayer. Part of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Malawi offering a warm welcome to their guests. Malawi is located in the southeast part of Africa. So down around here, this little end that got cut off, there's the country of Malawi, right there. It's in southeast Africa. So we're northwest Wisconsin, they're southeast Africa. Kids in Malawi are a lot like kids in America. They enjoy welcoming people to their beautiful homes. This home has a roof made of grass called thatch. The house is perfumed with the sweet smell of grass. How would you like to have a grass roof on your house this morning? It might have leaked a little bit, huh? This boy is very proud of his village well and pump. Not all villages have this. Where there is no well, water must be carried long distances, several miles, for drinking, washing, and cooking. People here are happy to greet visitors in the village. So that's one of the ways that the children in Malawi let the light of Jesus, which is in them just as it is in us, how they let a little bit of that light out. They let the light out by greeting visitors in their village. Well, we're going to 
say a few more about what the speech to come. Shall we pray? Gracious God, we thank you for the life of Jesus in us and for the ability to share that light with the people in Malawi. We ask you to bless them with faith. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for coming.